Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! This is Vanessa Delich again! Good morning or good afternoon, good evening to everybody! And uh, before anything else we start this uh, Bible study, I would like to shout out to Miss Annalisa Montimar. Thank you so much for dropping by for watching my video. I hope you guys, you will not tired for supporting my videos. Anyway, the title of our topic is What Chains in Lucifer's Life That Lead Him to Turn Against God? What Sin Did He Commit? Topic for today, we will get again from Amazing Facts Bible Correspondence School. 2017-2016 Amazing Fact All Right Reserve Okay Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 17 in Old Testament You have said in your heart I will exalt my throne above the stars of God I will be like the Most High in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13 to 14 again. Answer, pride, jealousy, and discontentment arose in Lucifer's heart. He soon began to desire to unseat God and to demand that everyone worship him instead. Note, why is worship such an important thing? It is the key factor in ongoing conflict between God and Satan. People were created to be happy and fulfilled when we worship only God. Not even the angels of heaven are to be worshipped. In Revelation chapter 22 verse 8 to 9 in New Testament, Satan selfishly sought their worship due only to God. Centuries later, when he tempted Jesus in the wilderness, Worship was still his central desire, and a key test in Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 11 in New Testament. Now, in these last days, as God calls upon all people to worship him, in Revelation chapter 14, verse 6 to 7, this so infuriates Satan that he will try to force people to worship himself or else be killed in Revelation chapter 13 to 15 in New Testament. Everybody worships someone or something, power, prestige, food, pleasure, possessions, etc. But God says, you shall have no other gods before me. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 in Old Testament. Like Lucifer, we have a choice about whom we worship. If we choose to worship anyone or anything other than the Creator, He will honor our choice. But we will be counted against Him in Matthew chapter 12, verse 30 in New Testament. If anything or anyone other than God receives first place in our lives, we will end up following in Satan's footsteps. I mean footsteps. Does God have first place in your life? Or are you serving Satan? It is a sobering question, isn't it? Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. And bye-bye. See you next time for my next videos. And have a blessed day. And again, don't forget to click subscribe for more weekly updates of my encouragement and informative blogs. And don't forget also to comment below. If you like my video and have a blessed day.